Ah, uh, characters. They are very important to telling stories, and most of us as kids have played with minifigures and made amazing stories. However, when it comes to 3D, it doesn't feel as simple. For example, if we look at behind the scenes of big movies from Disney or from DreamWorks, we might feel inspired, but at the same time, we might feel that all of these characters are out of our grasp. And yes, building 3D characters can be challenging. However, with a bit of help and with a bit of guidance, you can actually find it a lot less intimidating and you can even start to enjoy it. So that's why I'm here. I've been working with characters for many years and with the help of the CG Boost team, we've created this comprehensive course, Master Characters in Blender. So what's included in this course? Well, we'll start off first by creating the body of our character. So we're gonna start off very simple and then bit by bit sculpting in more details. Now, during this process, we'll go into depth for anatomy, making sure that we understand all the basics. And we'll also give you a ton of references to use to get all of these details right. Now, once we've got the body of our character in place, we'll move on to doing the clothes. And here again, we'll go into a lot of detail. We'll go from learning how to sculpt realistic folds all the way to adding small details and even jumping in to some geometry nodes. Now, once we finish creating all of the clothes, we'll then move on to doing some hard surface modeling. We're gonna be focused on creating this very unique jetpack. Over here again, we'll go into depth, learning various techniques as well as how to solve certain common issues when creating hard surface models. Now, once we have finished adjusting all of our models and everything is in their correct place, we'll then move over to doing some retopology. Now, once again, we'll go into the depths of explaining the whys and hows for retopology, but we'll also have a look at some UV unwrapping. We'll have a look at some really useful techniques to get nice clean unwraps, and we'll also have a look at how to solve some common problems. Now, once we've done the retopology and the UVs for the character, we'll then move over to doing some texture and shader work. Now, once again, we'll jump into depth here and having a look at how to create smart materials, as well as how to bake these materials into texture sets. Now, once we've set up these textures and materials, we'll have a look at some grooming using the hair curve system. We'll also go a bit into depth using the geometry nodes to really create some interesting hair shapes. And then by the end, we should be comfortable enough to create a wide variety of hairstyles. Now, this course is not just gonna be about creating this one character. During all of the lessons, I'll go over several techniques that we can use to overcome certain challenges that you might come into when creating your own unique character. To give you an example, when we go over the anatomy, I won't just be making references to female anatomy, but also male anatomy. This should help you when you create your own unique character, be they female or male. Now, as you might have noticed, the course has quite a lot of sculpting in it. So if you're not comfortable with sculpting yet, I do recommend going through at least our starter sculpting course first. Now, this course is free, so you can jump into this, get a bit more comfortable with the sculpting tools, and then once you feel more comfortable, you can then jump in to the character course. Now, since it's a quite a comprehensive course, what we've done to make it a bit more manageable is divide it into parts. Now, part one will be focused on doing the modeling and sculpting for the characters. This is creating the body, the clothes, the jetpack, all of that good stuff. Now, in part two, we'll be focused on doing the retopology, the UVs, basically tidying up the model and then making it ready to go to part three. Now, in part three, we'll bring our character to life with materials, textures, as well as some hair grooming. Now, as you can probably tell, this course is packed with a huge amount of content and we would have loved to cram it with even more stuff like rigging and maybe gamifying a character, but this would just make it too big. Uh, however, if you're interested in rigging right now, I would recommend P2 Design's rigging course. They are amazing, it should get you all the way there. And if you're interested in animation, I would also recommend to animate as they do some amazing animation work. Now, depending on where you decide to join the course, you won't have access to all parts yet. What do I mean? Well, for example, if you join us at launch, you have access to part one. And this is already over 20 hours worth of material. So you won't run out of things to do anytime Time soon and the other parts will be released in the following months after launch and all of this is of course included within the same price now aside from getting access to the course you'll also gain access to our lovely community where you can share your progress as well as get feedback on your projects from the CG boost team as well as your fellow students while going through this course, you might feel inspired to try and use your newly learned skills in creative new ways and kind of deviate a bit from the course. This is actually fine. I actually encourage this as well as this kind of helps cement all these skills into habits. 
Now, with that said, I do recommend at least going through the course or at least watching the course once over just so you understand some of the later steps as the earlier steps kind of influence these later steps. So just to avoid frustration, I do recommend going through it at least once. So with that, I hope you got a rough idea what's included with this course and I hope you're excited to create some characters. I know I am. I hope you are. So if you're ready, let's jump in. Let's create some awesome characters.